This is quite a party. Does the museum always have a big fundraiser when they open a new exhibit, Dr. Carter? No, but they've never had such an important exhibit opening here before. And I'm an important curator with an important salary, so the museum wouldn't have been able to keep me employed here without financial assistance. You must be very important for the museum to go to so much trouble. Naturally. The museum is lucky that I accepted this position as the head of their new Egyptian Antiquities Department. Why, my name alone will attract more visitors and more money to the museum. Any chance that the Tut Uncommon exhibit will make a stop here on its American tour? No. I'd hate to embarrass my relative by putting his Tut Uncommon artifacts on display here. They pale by comparison to my own great discoveries, such as the Dagger of Amun-Ra. Of course. How silly of me to think otherwise. Yes, that was rather silly of you. good year for you, Miss Delacroix. Ah, yes. Every year is a good year for me, Miss Bow. It is all a matter of the attitude, no? Why, that seems like a very healthy point of view. Merci, Miss Bow. You are very kind. a good year for you, sir. Well, let's see. I made the most important archaeological discovery of all time. Almost everyone on the planet knows my name, and I've clinched a curatorial job I've been after for years. Yes, I'd say it has been a rather good year. Hmm. Seems to me you might have a problem. A problem? Such as... Well, you've accomplished so much this year. What are you going to do next? Next? What next? Don't bother me with such ludicrous questions, you silly female. about the burglary. Quite so. If I ever find out who stole my dagger of Amun-Ra, they won't live to regret it, I can assure you. Oh my! Do you have any idea who would do such a thing? I have my suspicions, but I need more proof before I subject him to the full force of my wrath. Have the police learned anything? Those incompetents. Hardly. They couldn't even find any clues around the dagger display. Sounds like the burglar might have been a professional. Perhaps. It's more likely the local constable couldn't find a clue if it jumped up and bit him on the bum. Subject, what can you tell me about Egyptology? I don't have time to explain the intricacies of my profession to a neophyte. If you're truly interested, I'd suggest several years of difficult study on the subject at one of your better universities. Once you've finished that, you can talk to me again. the Emperor of Rome just after Justinian.
Dr. Carrington is a fine chap. He used to be in charge of the British Museum, you know. I ran into him several years ago when I visited the British Museum to consult with Dr. Budge. Seems odd that Dr. Carrington doesn't remember me, but I almost didn't recognize him either. He's getting old after all. Looks different. Memory's probably shot as well. Ah, uh, yes. Can't say I'm too impressed with Detective O'Reilly. Couldn't find a single bloody clue about the Durga burglary. And he has the nasty habit of chewing on grapes constantly, probably to cover up the smell of the alcohol he drinks. Rather an unfortunate name, I think. Dr. Miklos is rather eccentric, but she is well-educated and received her training at one of the better universities in Athens, Greece. She's considered quite knowledgeable in the area of hieroglyphics, but her speciality is paleontology. She's fond of old bones. Trollope sleeps with everything that moves, and some things that don't. It's only by sheer strength of will that I've resisted her advances so far. Ah yes, I'm Lex the security chief here. Not a particularly good one, obviously, since the dagger was stolen right from under his nose. And he's rather too intense for my tastes. Of course I know Ramses. There were several of them, actually. Ramses I was pharaoh during the 19th dynasty from 1307 to 1306 BC, but Ramses II made more of an impact on ancient Egypt. From 1290 to 1224 BC, Ramses II undertook a succession of gargantuan construction projects which left his mark in the face of Egypt for thousands of years. His mortuary site at Thebes, the Ramesseum, contains a temple to Amun-Ra, a royal palace, a mortuary temple, and several storerooms. Actually, I was referring to Ramses Najir. Never heard of him. The Countess was married to the former president of the Lion Ducker Museum, Sterling Waldorf Carlton. A good chap, but uninspired. Now she has a sight set on Dr. Carrington. Steve Dorian. The Stevedore with a ridiculous name. He's the fellow who helped unload my artifacts from the steamship. If it weren't for his odd name, I would have forgotten him entirely.
It's one of those local scandal periodicals. The term yellow journalism comes to mind when I think of it, which means it's not much of a newspaper at all, really. It's more like printed chewing gum for the uneducated masses. Now, wait a minute. The Tribune is a fine newspaper of the highest quality. I know because I happen to work there. You've just proven my point. Well, I never. Maybe that's your problem. I don't have to stand here and take this abuse. You're right, you don't. You could just go away and make us both happy. The police station is the last refuge for the incompetence in this city. However, if you're looking for a constable, I'd suggest one of the donut shops. With a little work, I can turn the Lion Decker into a world-class museum. But that can wait a few months until they decide to make me the president. Dr. Carrington will have to find other employment, of course, but I'm sure some lesser museum would be happy to have him on their staff. 